Welcome to the 2021 ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists International Science Fair Awards Ceremony. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the extraordinary young individuals along with their research, innovations and talent within the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics and innovation. Learners who will be honoured submitted research projects in one of nine provincial expos in South Africa as well as eight invited countries this year. They were allowed time to upgrade and improve their projects for the International Science Fair. Numerous sponsors have contributed to the special awards that will be awarded. The name of each sponsor will be mentioned before every award and ESCOM Expo would like to thank all these sponsors in advance for their continued support. Let's kick off the ceremony with the official welcome by the Chairman of the ESCOM Expo Board of Directors, Mr. Bersan Lesh from the Department of Science and Innovation. Good day. On behalf of the board of the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, I would like to welcome all of you to this, the International Science Fair, which acts as the national finals for 2021. The Expo is in its 41st year of existence. Despite all the uncertainty caused by the COVID-19 pandemic, we are very fortunate to still celebrate the winners of our International Science Fair today. The ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists Board represents various important sectors of society involved in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and innovation. Government departments, universities, a science council, agencies of government, and sponsors are all represented on the board. A word of welcome to all the participants, their parents, and teachers. The hundreds of volunteers involved in Expo as coaches, mentors, committee members, judges, and as science fair hosts in the 35 regions across the nine provinces. A special word of welcome to the sponsors, including those for special awards. We must acknowledge the ESCOM Expo staff team responsible for this marvelous event which is the culmination of many months of hard work across the country. Although this is a virtual event, it took many hours from the staff and the volunteers to get all things completed for this event. Often the work and the preparation took place over weekends and sometimes even after working hours. Participating in an event like this can be a defining moment in your life, yes. You may receive some recognition or an award which will change your life. I'm sure several young scientists will be pleasantly surprised today. Today is the end of the road after all the effort. I would like to wish all of you the very best for the award ceremony today. Holding thumbs that you will be receiving one or more awards. In fact, you are all winners as you have qualified for the International Science Fair, the most prestigious event of its kind on the continent. Please stay safe and hope to see you back next year with some more interesting, exciting and innovative projects and research results. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lesh, for the warm welcome and also for acknowledging the large number of volunteers involved in this prestigious event. Next, a message from the title sponsor, ESCOM, the Group Chief Executive, Mr. Andre de Reiter. Good day. As the Group Chief Executive of ESCOM, I'm really honoured and excited to be talking to you today. I'm so encouraged by the fact that most of your projects are not only aimed at improving the way we live or ensuring our safety and our well-being, but that they're also designed to preserve lives, while some even provide a direct response to climate change. It's impressive to me how you have developed such great projects while still at school. It certainly is much better than I ever did at school. And it gives me the assurance that the future of our country and our planet is in good hands. I would encourage you to share your fantastic ideas with your schoolmates and encourage them to follow your lead and take advantage of the great opportunities provided 
by the ESKIM es Expo for Young Scientists. ESKIM is very deliberately investing in you, our young scientists, in order to prepare you as our future leaders, our inventors, our innovators, to solve the problems of the future, some of which may not even yet exist. And I also want to say thank you to our past participants in the program who continue to fly the South African flag high on the global stage. This year, our young scientists represented South Africa at the Taiwan International Science Fair, the Regeneron International Science and Engineering Fair uh, in the USA, and also the Virtual Indonesia World Innovative Science Fair. So these are international events where we as South Africans are represented. These participants will later take part in the International Festival of Engineering Science and Technology in Tunisia and in the Science Energy Engineering Fair in Turkey. So really doing well on the global stage. And we are immensely proud as ESKIM to be enabling young scientists to achieve their full potential while also complementing and playing our part to uplifting the South African education system. You'll be happy to see that over and above self-development, career pathing and acquiring and nurturing the skills for the 21st century during your participation in this program, there are direct economic benefits. So there's, there's some uh, nice incentives for you, bursaries, laptops, and these form part of the ESKIM Expo for Young Scientists ISF incentives. These are made possible by our sponsors and our partners, and of course we're very grateful to them for enabling us to also recognize not only by thanking you, but also by giving you some exciting goodies. I also want to thank uh, the teachers, the coordinators, the volunteers, the judges, the school principals for giving leadership, the parents for bringing you to this point, and all the officials that have made such an excellent contribution, without which we would not have been able to have such a great success at this expo. Now, COVID-19 is a real issue that we've been grappling with, uh, but we managed to register 1,329 projects for the Provincial Science Fair with 61% female learner participation, which means that 979 participants out of the total 1,614 are girl learners. To all the participants, I want to congratulate you for reaching the final stages of the competition under these very challenging circumstances. And I wish you well as you join the pool of thousands of former participants and ambassadors of the ESKIM Expo for Young Scientists. You are the future. Go forth and create it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Director, for those encouraging words and also for highlighting that Expo does not end here. But many learners will go on to represent South Africa in various other international science fairs. Up next, we have a message from our strategic partner, the Department of Science and Innovation, Acting Deputy Director General, Human Capital and Knowledge System, Mr. Yona Seleti. A warm welcome to all participants in the annual ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists International Science Fair which is being staged as a virtual event this year with participants from all nine provinces. South Africa's National Development Plan, also known as Vision 2030, outlines how we can all contribute to the growth of our economy in an inclusive and environmentally sustainable way. To achieve this vision, we need young people with skills in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The, ex the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists is a platform that enables bright young minds to engage creatively in finding you know, innovative answers to pressing questions on current issues. These include climate change, population growth, and rapid urbanization in South Africa and beyond. The imaginative solutions that participants come up with to meet local and global needs for renewable energy, clean drinking water, smart food production, and effective transport systems, and the skills they develop in the process 
who play a vital role in modernizing our country. The rapid changes brought about by COVID-19 have also affected the way in which the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists is conducted. Hosting a national competition entirely online is a step in a new direction and one that requires extensive preparation on the part of the organizers. Over 630 hours of training were needed this year and more may be needed in future as we incrementally fine tune the system. I'm informed that more than 1,030 volunteers were involved in the preparation of this event, which is the combination of local and provincial competitions. Considering the stage at which we find ourselves globally and as a country, I'm sure that there will be several projects on sanitization and disinfection, as well as mobile applications and related digital solutions. This is the nature of the Ex ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists, which encourages learners to come up with creative solutions for real life needs and challenges. The DSI supports the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists through a network of mentors, mostly postgraduate students and researchers for selected participants. We hope that this will inspire a culture of mentoring and coaching among scientists, engineers, and other professionals. I encourage the learners who are competing in this national final to serve in turn as mentors to their friends and schoolmates, hoping to get more young people participate in science fairs in the future. Despite the constraints of COVID-19, a number of international science fairs adapted quickly and went online. Our own ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists being one of them. We are concerned, however, that moving from in-person to online participation has reduced overall participation in this year's ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. This is understandable as many of our learners will struggle to access resources such as data and smart gadgets. The DSI and its partners will work to find solutions to this challenge to ensure that learners, irrespective of their backgrounds, are empowered to participate in science fairs and related extracurricular activities that help them unleash their talent and potential. The department would like to thank ESCOM and all other sponsors for their continued support of the Expo. Special thanks to many parents, teachers, volunteers, and organizers involved in science fairs at school, district, regional level, and at the International Science Fair, all of whom have made an important contribution to our country's future. I wish all participants well in the competition. Take care and stay well. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Saleti, for that inspiring address and for highlighting the fact that our economy can only grow by improving our skills in STEM education. And now, a message from another strategic partner, the Deputy Minister of Basic Education, Dr. Makabo Regina Mhaule. Sanbonan, my name is Regina Mhaule, the Deputy Minister for Basic Education in South Africa. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate every one of you who has submitted a scientific research project at the ISCOM Expo International Science Fair under these strange circumstances during the lockdown period. You are all winners, as we have proven to be above average. The de department sees ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists as an important partner in support of our math, science, and technology strategy. As a country, we need more scientists and engineers to help solve the numerous challenges we are faced with and solve future problems which have not yet existed. It is through sound education, especially acquiring scientific research skills, that we as a nation can pro prepare the young people to shape their country into a more progressive one, one that can compete with the first world countries and not 
uh, just uh, become a consumer of goods and services that are developed from other countries. It was very pleasing to note that even during the very challenging lockdown environment, the ESCOM Expo continues to provide valuable services to our learners and teachers, even though many of these activi activities were online. South African learners participated in numerous virtual international science fairs and have won at all of them. Quite remarkably, we had 1,838 learners participating in the Science Expo in all nine provinces, of which 1,771, representing 96%, are learners coming from previously disadvantaged backgrounds. This is the highest number ever achieved by any competition or Olympiad in South Africa. It is at times like this that we see the value, the value of scientific research where the entire world relied on a handful of scientists to develop the vaccine to combat the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Many of our young scientists that have participated in the ESCOM Expo have acquired the skill set to be future leaders in their fields and go on to develop new products and inventions that would put South Africa on the world map. I take this opportunity to wish uh, you well and hope many of you will win the medals and all of the fantastic awards available. Thank you all the ESCOM partners, ex ESCOM Expo partners and sponsors. I look forward to seeing all of you back here at the ESCOM Expo International Science Fair 2022, when I hope we may be in a position to have the face-to-face -face events like we did in the past. Till then, stay safe. Thank you, Minister Mahaule, for the wonderful message and also for highlighting the fact that there is a need for more scientists and engineers in our country. And now, for the moment we've all been waiting for, the awards. We will be starting with highly commended awards, then bronze awards, followed by silver and gold awards. Young scientists who scored between 50 and 59% for their projects receive a highly commended award. The highly commended award winners are as follows. Congratulations to all the highly commended award winners. Up next, the Bronze Awards. Young scientists who scored between 60 and 69% for their projects receive a Bronze Award. The Bronze Award winners are as follows.
Congratulations to all the Bronze Award winners. Up next is the Silver Awards. Young scientists who scored between 70 and 79% for their projects receive a Silver Award. The Silver Award winners are as follows. Congratulations to all the Silver Award winners. Up next, the Gold Awards. Young scientists who scored above 80% for their projects receive a Gold Award. All Gold Award winners receive 750 rands in cash. The Gold Award winners are as follows. Shiham Muhammad, Northern Cape, Kimberley Region. Lakita Chundru, Gauteng Province, Johannesburg Region. Gemma Reed from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. Ruby McCulloch from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. Kudzaishe Nhiwatiwa from the Free State, Velkom area. Jessica de Freitas, ook van die Freistaat, Velkom area. Rebecca Lissachang from Gauteng, Johannesburg region. Shay Lang Smith from the Free State Bloemfontein region. Shantae King, Free State Bloemfontein region. 
Rayalene Ixtian, Free State, Bloemfontein Region. Daniel Pinar, Free State, Bloemfontein Region. McKenna Pinar, also from the Free State, also Bloemfontein Region. Then we have Mulman Nicholas from Mpumalanga, Gert Sibanda Region. James Shri from the Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth Region. Keith Kojo Torpe from Ghana. Then we have Tiara Pather from Gauteng, Johannesburg Region. Sachin Mohan from Gauteng, Region Gauteng South. Gloria Kamuntu from Kenya. Stacey Wanjiku, also from Kenya. And then Raiz Devitt from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. Catherine Cedris, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Hamish Bardin, Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth. Mary Humburu, Kenya. Sheila Orina, also from Kenya. Friedrich Esterheiser from the Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Theidu Dupria from the Western Cape, West Coast region. Kutloano Chatiwa, Northwest Province, Bonjanala region. Kudzai Mawere from the Free State, Velkom area. Decker Adam Stadler from the Northern Cape, Kalahari region. Abri Jordan from the Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth. Ayanda Maniele from the Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth region. Tristan Kriecher from the Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth region. Mark Dupree from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch area. Stefan Thielen from the Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Deline van der Merwe, Free State, Bethlehem region. Mia van der Schijf, Free State, Bethlehem region. Ethan De Wet, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Matilda Cooper from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. Amelia Deval, Western Cape, Cape Town region. Lisa Daisy Botcher, Western Cape, Cape Town region. Michael Shepston, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Emma Foster, Western Cape, Cape Town region. Shailen Govender from KwaZulu Natal, KwaZulu Natal Central region. Anati Hindima, also from KZN, KwaZulu Natal Central. Bonolo Hanane, KZN, KwaZulu Natal Central region. Then from Free State, we've got Mark Magadza, from the Welcome area. For Yuna Venet, from Mpumalanga, Gert Sibande area. So Weba Ali from the Free State Bethlehem region. Fatima Anwari, Free State Bethlehem region. Lebo Hang Makine from the Northern Cape Kalahari. Klinka Feirus Jalisa, all the way from Indonesia. Amelisa Adler Rustem, also from Indonesia. Ewald Schrade. From the Western Cape Stellenbosch region. Luan Schade, also from the Western Cape Stellenbosch region. Jaden Lochenberg, Western Cape Stellenbosch region. Resendran Naidu from KZN KwaZulu Natal Central region. Meshail Alex Javier, Archery from KwaZulu Natal Central region. Daya Singh. KwaZulu Natal, Northern KwaZulu Natal region. Lutando Sitole, KwaZulu Natal from the KwaZulu Natal Far region. Then we have Kwanele Mchali from KwaZulu Natal, Northern KwaZulu Natal region. Then we've got Lesanri Swart, Northern Cape, Kalahari region. Kaisa Sabila Rama from Indonesia. Azura Himmatsana Viandira, also from Indonesia. Audrey Han from the Western Cape Stellenbosch region. Sarah Hackland, Western Cape Stellenbosch region. Katia Jamie, Western Cape Cape Town region. Emma Beth 
Peters, Western Cape, Cape Town region. Siobhan Erasmus, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Emma Fenter, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Joeline Delport, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Kelly Jade Cleofas, Western Cape, all the way from the West Coast region. Aidan Gebi from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. Asil Soyelef from Turkey. Mirash Irigun, also from Turkey. Peter Adrian Haysaman, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. The Shein Gilbert, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Jessica Fisser, Western Cape, Stellenbosch region. Nerike van der Westhuizen, Free State, Bloemfontein region. Jeanette Jordan, also from Free State, also from the Bloemfontein region. Then we've got Daniil Fletcher from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. Zuhair Mohamud, Western Cape, Cape Town region. Sydney Dawson, also from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. Lula Killenbeck, Western Cape, Stellenbosch. Retea Govender, Western Cape, Cape Town. Ruby Park, Western Cape, Cape Town. Rulof Ulofse, Freistaat, Welkom Area. Mika Spannenberg, Northern Cape, Namakwa Region. De Wet Nell, also from the Northern Cape, Namakwa Region. Keela Goodall, Eastern Cape, Port Elizabeth Region. Sophia Buta, Western Cape, Stellenbosch Region. Stephanie Colby, Western Cape, Stellenbosch Region. Mapula Maringa, Limpopo Province, Mopani Region. Karen Hodgson, Northwest Province, Dr. K.K. Hania Kempen, Northwest Province, Dr. K.K. Masejo Diasi, Northern Province, Dr. K.K. Muye Tapele Liupeng, Northwest Province, Dr. K.K. Shiham Muhammad, Northern Cape, Kimberley Region. Lakita Chundru, Gauteng Province, Johannesburg. Congratulations to all the Gold Award winners. And now, a special message all the way from Ireland. Please welcome Sheila Porter, the founder and CEO of the SciFest Ireland STEM Fair program. Hello from Ireland. My name is Sheila Porter and I'm the founder and the CEO of the SciFest Ireland STEM Fair program. On behalf of the SciFest team and all your friends in Ireland, I would like to congratulate you on qualifying as a finalist in the 2021 ESCOM Expo National Science Fair. It is a great achievement to be a finalist and you should be very, very proud of yourself. Good luck with the judges on the day and remember to keep doing what you are passionate about and never be afraid to follow your dreams and your curiosity. Thank you, Ms. Porter, for the very encouraging message all the way from Ireland. Next, we will be awarding the category winners. These winners are based on the top marks obtained per category. The junior category winners will receive 1,500 Rand in cash and a plaque, and the senior category winners will receive 2,250 Rand in cash and a plaque. The category winners are as follows. Agricultural Sciences, Likita Chundru. Agricultural plant growth experiment using cocoa peat to improve water retention or magnets in soil to improve growth in sprout and fenugreek plants in South Africa from Gauteng in the Johannesburg region. Animal Sciences, Rebecca Leisehang. Investigating the effect of colored lights, LEDs, on African honeybees from Gauteng in the Johannesburg region. Biomedical and Medical Sciences. Shalanga Smith, Carob, the healthy solution for South Africa, from Free State in the Bloemfontein region. Tiara Pata, scientific investigation into the number of saliva droplets that get through different masks, from Gauteng in the Johannesburg region. Chemistry and Biochemistry, 
Thierry Dupree, white, whiter, green, from the Western Cape in the West Coast region, Earth Sciences. Mark Dupree and Stefan Thielen. Which neighborhood's borehole water in Stellenbosch contains the least TDS and pH from Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region? Engineering. Lisa Daisy Botcher. Green Tech Mobile Speaker from the Western Cape in the Cape Town region. Energy. Lebohang Makine. Potential of using frozen waste cooking oil as a fire lighter from the Northern Cape in the Kalahari region. Environmental studies. Jolene Delport. Phragmites australis. Evasive yet useful from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. Mathematics. Aidan Gebi. Stimulating sustainability in a game of cooperation from the Western Cape in the Cape Town region. Physics, astronomy and space sciences. Jessica Fussell, the speed obtained by a skateboarder down a slope from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. Plant Sciences, Sydney Dawson, investigating if beetroot, lettuce and kale are able to adapt to the polluted water and grow tall and green with lots of healthy leaves while exposed to polluted water. From the Western Cape in the Cape Town region. And social sciences. Sophie Bertha and Stephanie Colby. Academic achievers to do it with their eyes closed. The association between good sleeping and studying habits and academic performance. From the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. Agricultural sciences. Ruby McCulloch. The effects of different types of grey water on basil. From the Western Cape in the Cape Town region. Animal Sciences Kudzashe Nehiwatiwa The population structure of the Orange River Mudfish Labio Capensis in the Alamanskral Dam and its potential as a fishery species from Free State in the Valcom region Jessica de Freitas The reproduction success of the Cyprinidae and Claridae fish species in their impact on small-scale fisheries from Free State in the Valcom region, Biomedical and Medical Sciences. Session Mohan, Diagnosis of Respiratory Disease Through Physiological Sound Analysis, from Gauteng in the Gauteng South region, Chemistry and Biochemistry, Mary Mburu and Sheila Orina, Carbon-4 Oxide Electro Reduction Process to curb the effects of global warming. From Kenya, Computer Science and Software Development, Kutluano Tatiwa, Doctornet, from Northwest in the Bujanala region, Earth Sciences, Kudzai Maweri, Conductivity, EC, and Total Dissolved Solids, TDS, and the impact on the aquatic ecosystem in the Alamans Kral Dam from Free State in the Valcom region. Decker Adam Stadler, the most effective method of turning brackfish water of the Busman Land, Northern Cape, into drinkable water from Northern Cape in the Kalahari region. Energy, Klinka Feiruz Chalisa and Armeleza Adler Rustam. Vegetable electricity. Electricity test of the chlorophyll of papaya leaves, or Carica papaya L, as a green power source of electricity using the microblau fuel cell, MFC, from Indonesia. Mishael Alexavia Archery, reservoir height in relation to water pressure, hydroelectric energy, from KZN in the KZN central region. Engineering. Michael Shepston. Healthy air for hospitals and offices from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. Environmental studies Katia Jamie and Emma Beth Peters. Daisy's Downriver from the Western Cape in the Cape Town region. Mathematics 
Nkosi Londeka Kevin. How nine works in building up numbers. From Pumalanga in the Eshlanzeni region. Physics, astronomy and space sciences. Asir Suilev and Mirach Ertegun. Contactless and non-destructive detection of chicken meat contamination with laser speckle method. From Turkey. Plant Sciences Daniel Fletcher and Zuhair Mohamud Heavy Metal Phytoremediation in Different Plant Species from the Western Cape in the Cape Town region and Social Sciences Rulof Ulofsa Mathematics Learning After COVID-19 from Free State in the Valcom region As I address you, I do so with knowledge that we have almost left behind 18 months that can at best be described as terrifying, from the loss of life and overwhelmed medical facilities to the social unrest in our country. We have to sadly acknowledge that as South Africans, we have lost so much and so many during this period. The ray of hope that science brings, that should not be underestimated. Without science, we will not have COVID-19 vaccines available to stem the tide of the pandemic. We will not have discovered a plastic consuming enzyme in Indonesia. We would not be using mathematical equations to assist with waste management or have engineering solutions to resolve water scarcity. What the pandemic has proven repeatedly is that the science matters. Science in the form of chemical, material engineers, virologists, product and system engineers, and even our IT professionals, we have had to step up to ensure that the wheels of industry keep rolling. As the ESCOM Development Foundation, we are responsible for ESCOM's drive to invest in our communities throughout South Africa, where we operate. One of these investments is in the Expo for Iron Scientists, which we have supported for many years. The ESCOM Expo strives to inspire young scientists and researchers to explore innovation in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, thereby presenting them with opportunities to develop their passion for the sciences. The prizes are invaluable from tablets and laptops to cash, scholarships, bursaries and a five-day visual innovation, entrepreneurship boot camp and opportunity to represent South Africa at other international competitions. However, the true value is that all participants grow their passion for the sciences as to realize their full potential for a brighter future that benefits us all. With that, I would like to wish all young scientists the best of luck. And as ESCOM, we hope to see many of you building a strong future for South Africa in years to come. Thank you, Mr. Ramonozzi, for the enlightening message and also highlighting the importance of science, especially since we relied on scientists to develop a vaccine to combat COVID-19. And now for the special awards. Numerous sponsors have contributed to all the special awards being handed out today. ESCOM Expo would like to thank all the sponsors in advance for their continued support. We will be starting with the special awards sponsored by ESCOM. Prizes in the form of a laptop computer will be awarded for the best energy project selected from the energy category, best innovation project, best female and best development project. The ESCOM winners are as follows. The ESCOM award for Best Innovation Project goes to Michael Shepson from the Stellenbosch region in the Western Cape. The ESCOM award for the Best Energy Project goes to Mark Mugadza from the Valcom region in the Free State. The ESCOM award for the Best Female Project goes to Likita Chudro from the Johannesburg region in Gauteng. The ESCOM award for the Best Development Project goes to Kuzaishe Niwatiwa from the Valcom region in Free State. Congratulations the Soil Science Society to the of South Africa award is also awarding 1,500 Soil Science Society of South Africa is awarding 1,500 grand. The winner is to the best junior category. The Soil Science Society of South Africa is also awarding 1,500 grand to the best senior category winner. Region. The winner is the Soil Science Society of South Africa is also awarding 1,500 rand to the best senior category winner. The winner is 
The winner is Ruby McCullough. The Soil Science the Society Western of South Cape, Africa is Cape also Town, awarding region. 1,000. Redmast is awarding two tablets with five gigabytes of data a month from Cell C, along with an electricity kit to two young scientists. The winners are Songeso Seleke, Northwest Province, Dr. Kenneth Kahunda Region, and the Tabo Mofome, Limpopo Province. The Waterberg region. The Nelson Mandela University is awarding three tanks coding kits worth 3,000 Rand each to three young scientists. The tanks game was developed as an honors project in computer science at the Nelson Mandela University. It uses customized tokens, a cell phone, and image recognition to introduce learners to coding concepts without the use of a computer. These kits are given to the school to introduce the concept of coding to the learners. The winners are Kutluano Chatiwa from Gabonewe High School in the Northwest Province, Bojanala region. Joy Malaka from Jane First Comprehensive School in the Limpopo Province, Capricorn region. Lesedi Maklalela and Lemohang Matlau from J.M. Nsime Secondary School in the Northwest Province, Bojonala region. Through the partnership between ESCOM Expo and the Technology Innovation Agency, an implementing agency of the Department of Science and Innovation, up to 27 learners will be enrolled in a five-day virtual innovation and entrepreneurship boot camp that will prepare learners to advance their innovations from idea to product development and new venture creation. The value of the boot camp is 500,000 rands. The following learners have been selected. The Central University of Technology is awarding two laptops and two trophies to the following young scientists. The Black Central East University Desert, of Technology Cape, is awarding Stella-Mosh two region. laptops and two and trophies Sydney to the Dawson, following young also scientists. From the, Western Cape, the Central University Cape Town, of Technology region. is awarding the Durban University of Technology is awarding a laptop voucher worth seven thousand rands to the Durban University of Technology award goes to Mapula Maringa from Limpopo Province. Mopani region. The South African Institute of Electrical Engineers is awarding a 7,000 Rand cash prize with the SAIEE certificate for the best electrical engineering project by a grade 10 to 12 learner. Malada Ndivuvo, Limpopo Province, Capricorn region. The South African Institution of Civil Engineering's IT division is awarding a cash prize of 3,500 Rand each to two young scientists as a special award for innovation in information technology. The winners are Preston Skuman and Nico Euster from the Western Cape Province and the Stellenbosch region. The South African Institution of Civil Engineering's Environmental Engineering Division is awarding a special award for innovation in environmental engineering. Each winner receives 2,500 rands. The winners are Matilda Cooper and Amelia Deval from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. The South African Institute of Civil Engineering's Environmental Engineering Division is awarding a special award for innovation in environmental engineering. The young scientist receives 3,000 rands. The winner is Matida Chirzura from the Western Cape Province, Cape Town region. The South African Institution of Civil Engineering's Water Engineering Division is awarding a special bronze award for innovation in water engineering to two young scientists. Each learner receives 2,000 rands. The winners are Matilda Cooper and Amelia Deval from the Western Cape, Cape Town region. The South African Institution of Civil Engineering's Water Engineering Division is awarding a special bronze award for innovation in water engineering to one young scientist. The winner receives 4,000 rands. And the winner is Mlambo Chiamo, Mpumalanga Province, 
Mkagala region. SciFest Africa will select the three best communicator awards from the following finalists who will undergo secondary interviews. The winners will be given the opportunity to present their projects to the Minister of Science and Innovation and also be part of the SciFest proceedings. The finalists are Rais Divit from Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region, Katia Jamie and Emma Beth Peters from the Western Cape in the Cape Town region, Shiham Mohammed from the Northern Cape in the Kimberley region, Catherine Cedres from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region, Kutloano Chatiwa from the Northwest in the Bojanala region, and Kelly Jade Cleopas from the Western Cape in the West Coast region. Babcock is awarding a 100,000 Rand bursary to one young scientist. Babcock has selected the following candidates who aim to pursue a career in engineering at the university of their choice. These finalists will be interviewed by the senior executives of Babcock and the final winner will be announced at a later stage. Nonflantla Mbele from KwaZulu-Natal in the southern KZN region. Ramalata Shumani from Gauteng in the Ikuruleni region. Ayabulela Mbele from the Eastern Cape in the Port Elizabeth region. Atlehang Tsotsezi from the Free State in the Bethlehem region. Botle Motaung from the Free State in the Bethlehem region. The University of Pretoria's Faculty of Engineering, Built Environment and Information Technology is awarding two partial bursaries worth 30,000 Rand each, which will be credited to the recipient student's account. Towards the first year towards the first year of tuition at the university. The two winners are Jabulile Primrose Shongwe from Gauteng in the Gauteng North region. Marissa Moodley from Pumalanga in the Khertsibande region. The University of Pretoria's Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences is awarding two partial bursaries worth thirty thousand rands which will be credited to the recipient student's account towards the first year of tuition at the university. The two winners are Nomonde Nontlina from KwaZulu-Natal in the southern KZN region and Robert Boyson from Free State in the Bloemfontein region. Witz University's Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment is awarding two partial bursaries worth 45,000 rands which will be credited to the recipient student's account towards the first year of tuition at the university. The two winners Session Mahon from Gauteng in the Gauteng South region and Michael Shepston from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. Witz University's Faculty of Science is awarding one partial bursary worth 35,000 Rand which will be credited to the recipient student's account towards the first year of tuition at the university. And the winner is Kudzai Rejoice Maweri from the Free State in the Welcome region. Congratulations to all. Up next, we have the prestigious University of Pretoria Derek Gray Memorial Award. This award includes a three-year scholarship that covers full tuition and extras to the University of Pretoria. Conditions apply. This young scientist conducted a thorough literature study of the influence of aerodynamics on Formula One racing cars. The aerodynamic properties of various parts of a racing car were investigated and then he compared the aerodynamics and the timings of two racing cars to see if the car's performance could be related to the aerodynamics. He impressed judges with his detailed and meticulous presentation of results. The young scientist concluded that the difference in performance of the cars could be attributed to differences in the engine housing, side pods and roll hoop. The prestigious University of Pretoria Derek Gray Memorial Award winner is Dasheyan Gilbert from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. The Mayring Nodia Award for the most inspiring project goes to a young scientist 
who developed a new design for automatic gears for a bicycle. The aim was to design a system with lower cost that could be fitted to any bicycle with minimal effort. For each of the three prototypes, a candid description of its strengths and weaknesses is given and the improvements after each iteration are clearly captured. The judges were impressed with the young scientist's creativity, clear presentation and authentic discussion of his learning process as he went through each iteration. The Meirung Nordia Award for the most inspiring project goes to Rainer Erasmus from the Western Cape in the Stellenbosch region. Before we continue with the special awards, we have a special message from Siemens CEO, Ms. Sabine Dalomo. Dear learners, congratulations at this point for making it so far to be selected to participate in the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. You have studied hard and that is the reason to why you are participating in this event. It's always a pleasure to see so many young people striving for science and technology to better society and come up with innovative technologies which will change our future. For Siemens, the Expo is a great opportunity to tap into the brightest mind the country has to offer uh, and beyond our shores with selected countries the Expo is collaborating with. We have had already quite a number of your predecessors as an intake within Siemens and we're happy to see that because we selected them from the Expo that they have been a great success, not only for Siemens but also for the country. For us, it is an honor to also this year sponsor prizes for your schools but also for individuals to join our workforce because science and technology is an important field and COVID-19 has shown, think about vaccine development and distribution, but also digital technologies to be applied, that the African continent can leapfrog into the next generation of technology. And therefore we need bright people, bright young people like you are to participate and shape the future of the African continent of tomorrow. From Siemens, we will support you, we will support the country in the endeavor to make more scientists available for the vital tasks which lay ahead of us. I wish all of you a great expo and I wish you lots of luck for the finalists. But at this point, as I said, you're already all successful because you have managed to participate in the expo. You are the best ones the country has to offer. Good luck and all the best. Thank you, Ms. Dalomo, for the very encouraging message and also helping our country to develop more scientists through Siemens's support. The following awards were sponsored by Siemens. Up first, Siemens is awarding projector kits to the best performing previously disadvantaged school in each province in South Africa. The top previously disadvantaged learner from each province has won their school a projector kit. Each learner will also receive a tablet computer. The winners are as follows. To Hamish Bardin from Patterson High School in the Eastern Cape, the Port Elizabeth region. Robert Boyson from Kahua Secondary School in the Free State, the Bloemfontein region. Amohelang Maloy from Nageng Primary School in Gauteng, the Koreleni region. Dembisa Goma from Shonkweni Primary in KwaZulu-Natal in Southern KZN. Promang Wanelo Mailule from Mapukwane Secondary School in Limpopo, the Mopane region. Sindiswa Baloy from Kwamanala Secondary School in Mpumalanga, the Kangala region. Shante Kluta from Steinkop Secondary School in the Northern Cape, the Namakwa region. Kutluane Tsatiwa from Gabonewe Secondary School in the Northwest, the Bojanala region. Jaden Lochenberg from Klutusville High in the Western Cape, the Stellenbosch region.
Up next, Siemens is awarding training opportunities for learners to enhance their engineering skills with Siemens industry training at the Siemens Training Centre in Midrand. The following candidates will undergo secondary interviews to select the three final winners. Kutluana Tatiwe from the Bojanala region in the northwest. Brendan de Grief from the Johannesburg region in Gauteng. Ian Wuzong from the Stellenbosch region in the Western Cape. Tinashe Somaili from the Northern KwaZulu Natal region in KwaZulu Natal. Lesedi Mahlalela from the Bojanala region in the Northwest. Lemohang Matlau from the Bojanala region in the Northwest. And finally, Siemens is awarding three full bursaries to winners pursuing careers in engineering. The following candidates have been shortlisted for secondary interviews. Shante Kluta from the Namakwa region in the Northern Cape. Nkosi Lunga from the Northern Gauteng region in Gauteng. Shona Nyamandwe from Nangaka Modiri Molema region in the Northwest. Lenox Chilowane from the Botlabela region in Mpumalanga. Joe Malaka from the Capricorn region in Limpopo. Tuale Numfundo from the Hlazeni region in Mpumalanga. Congratulations to all the special award winners and thank you to all the sponsors. Before we announce the winners of the bursary sponsored by ESCOM, we would like to recognize ESCOM Expo Regional Science Fair directors, committee members and judges who have served for more than 10 years at ESCOM Expo. These are all volunteers. <music>
thank you to all our dedicated volunteers from the ESCOM Expo family. And now, a message from ESCOM Group Executive, Human Resources, Ms. Elsie Pule. We thank you for the opportunity um, to address uh, this audience, in particular um, our younger citizens in our audience. Let me take this opportunity to thank you all and observe all protocol. It feels great to be part of the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists International Science Fair 2021. My only regret is that the limitations brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic has robbed us of an opportunity to have a venue-based finale. Nonetheless, the use of digital technology has enabled us to still connect and enjoy the International Science Fair. And as we know, it's all about unlocking potential and expanding the minds of our youngsters. Corporates and the education system need to collaborate more now than ever. The education system requires a major overall to produce ready-made skills relevant to business needs as well as the new world of work. The major focus should be on applied and tangible skills rather than just theory. Though there are challenges in the educational system, technical vocational education and training colleges have consistently produced artisans that are easily absorbed into the workplace with immediate effect. And as ESCOM, we had been a beneficiary of that. My concern, however, is that these have not been sufficiently prioritized and resourced, and the investment in the education does not seem to have a direct correlation with job creation and economic advancement. With the advancement in technology, access to knowledge and information and online training, the need for vocational and practical training becomes necessary. The pandemic has accelerated the new normal, putting much strain on the quality and availability of skills. My view is that instead of South Africa constantly complaining about the lack and exodus of skills as parties, we need to come up with innovative ways of sustaining our skills pipeline. We need to build our own timber and stop looking over our boundaries for skills. It will be very embarrassing uh, if we continue to complain for the next 10 years when we've got great opportunities like we have here, looking at some of the projects, looking at some of the progress we've made as a country. I think we just need to invest more of our time and resources in terms of making sure that we build a robust skills pipeline. They usually say uh, the nature of a country or the future of a country is going to be reflected from how they treat their youth today. So it's very important that as all parties, we invest so much in our youth in terms of skills development. The range of the projects on offer serves as a stark reminder that the fourth re industrial revolution is upon us. We have come to realize that whether we are ready or not, and whether we like it or not, the world is changing. All of us, young and old, need to adapt and embrace this new world of work, and we need to do it quickly. As part of the global community, South Africa is on the cusp, cusp of the revolution that is driven by major global trends. For ESCOM, the fourth industrial revolution presents a great window for, of opportunity for investment in the energy sector as technological advances um, in advancements in renewable energy, um, energy distribution, generation, and smart grids expansions. There is also a great need for greater flexibility and rapid technology advancement across the entire value chain, more so as we transform our business model, we're gonna need it even more. Balancing the social, environmental, and economic imperatives will continue to rely heavily on technological developments and research. Therefore, the amount of scientific knowledge displayed by the young scientists and innovators gives us comfort as South Africa that we have adequate, an adequate skills pool to meet our future skills needs. Um, so we need to invest more and we need to make sure that we continue with programs like this to make sure that we've got a robust uh, skills pipeline moving forward. As ESCOM, we remain committed in investing in STEMI um, and particularly in the young people of South Africa. The ESCOM Expo of Young Scientists is one of the many vehicles as an organization we deploy to make sure that we make a meaningful and relevant contribution to the development of skills in our country.
as are future scientists, researchers, scholars, and innovators, you may be interested to know that ESCOM also boasts a fully operational research, testing, and development center consisting of numerous uh, disciplines. Um, I would be so happy uh, one day when I walk in there and I see some of you like sort of coming to apply your traits and also share your wisdom over the years. Those who are passionate about renewable energy generation may also be pleased to know that the center boasts the largest testing facility of a large scale energy storage facility in the southern hemisphere. Ladies and gentlemen, on this note, I would like to congratulate all the participants for participants for making it this far in the competition. In my eyes, you are all winners. In my eyes, you are all great South Africans who are saying, and not on my watch. I'm not going to be complaining about the country. I'm not going to be complaining about um, all the things that are going wrong. I want to be part of the solution. And I'm not only talking about it. I'm also making sure that part of my research is applied on the practical uh, challenges that we have so that I can play a key role in eradicating poverty in our country, also in terms of participating very actively in our economy. Reaching the stage of the competition means that you have not only witnessed the changes or the fourth industrial revolution in motion, but you had also been an active participant as it unfolded. That improves your profile greatly and you'd have like sort of a great story or a great narrative to write on your CV. I wish you all the best and I also wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Pule, and also for highlighting the need for us all to embrace the changes brought about the fourth industrial revolution. Up next, the ESCOM bursary winners. ESCOM is awarding 17 bursaries worth 640,000 Rand each towards Bachelor of Engineering in Electrical Engineering Studies to the following learners. Aditi Sukdo from the KwaZulu-Natal Central Region in KwaZulu-Natal. Ayabulela Mbele from the Port Elizabeth Region in the Eastern Cape. Botle Motaung from the Bethlehem Region in the Free State. Busisiwe Mnisi from the Gauteng South Region in Gauteng. Kenoria Shichobo from the Mopani Region in Limpopo. Daileen van der Merwe from the Bethlehem region in the Free State. Kupano Modisane from the Northern Gauteng region in Gauteng. Kuena Mokwele from the Northern Gauteng region in Gauteng. Rifuo Mashaule from the Mopani region in Limpopo. Mbali Ntogozisi from the Southern KwaZulu Natal region in KZN. MacDonald Manyama from the Northern Gauteng region in Gauteng. Sandile Dube from the Ikuruleni region in Gauteng. Sinyet Metisi from the Eshanzeni region in Mpomalanga. Londeka Nkosi from the Eshanzeni region in Mpomalanga. Lucky Gumede from the Eshanzeni region in Mpomalanga. Nkari Sibia from the Eshlanzeni region in Pumalanga and Simpiwe Ntuli from the Eshlanzeni region in Pumalanga. Congratulations to the ESCOM bursary winners. And now a message from ESCOM Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Kalib Kasim. Good day, students and learners. It always gives me a pleasure to talk to young South Africans, particular game changers such as yourselves. This special moment comes at a time when all of us were impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. And in many ways, what it has showed us that it's more important now to invest in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, and innovation, STEMI. What it can do for South Africa, the African continent, and the world. The facilitation of the 2021 ESCOM Expo International Science Fair, ISF, is further testament to, to this. In stark contrast to the 2019 
situation, when I engage with the class as a venue, today's event is conducted on a virtual platform, has made it possible with the use of digital technologies and a great deal of innovation. Furthermore, as the class of 2021, you should be proud of the huge role you played in re-engineering the way the program is facilitated. If I remind you that the Eskom Expo for Young Scientists is one of our flagship corporate social investment programs driven by the Eskom Foundation. It is the oldest, largest and most prestigious science fair in the country and on the continent with more than 100,000 learners from 35 regions in South Africa as well as some uh, of our neighboring countries. Taking part in this science fair on an annual basis, more importantly, it's received the endorsement from our shareholder, the Department of Public Enterprises, the Department of Science uh, and Innovation, Department of Basic Education, as well as recognition from the presidency. We are proud to have made a meaningful contribution to this program over the last 20 years, which has now become a national initiative that contributes to the National Development Plan of 2030. We as ESCOM remain committed to driving the skills in this country and the ESCOM Expo as a vehicle designed to enable us to live up to this commitment. To all the finalists, Congratulations on making it thus far in the competition. This is clear a testament to your hard work, your passion for these sciences. I strongly be believe that this young cohort of young scientists will go on to create new technologies and even come up with new inventions because you are self-motivated uh, you have this fantastic trait, especially during these difficult times of the COVID-19 pandemic. All of you, you've beaten the odds, produced world-class projects against a backdrop of uncertainty, anxiety, disruptions in your academic year. You've managed this pandemic. In my words, you are all winners. I hope you achieve and get a number of awards, not only during this fair, like our history has shown, the winners from the Eskom Expo go on to represent the country and have done us proud and South Africa. I wish you all the best, congratulations. We are proud of you. Your parents are proud of you. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Mr. Kasim. And as mentioned about the learners, you are here as a result of your hard work and your passion for the sciences. And that's why so many of you have won these wonderful ESCOM bursaries. The final two awards recognize the top junior and top senior scientist for 2021 who have attained the highest mark for their projects from all participants. And now, Let's welcome ESCOM Expo Academic Director, Ms. Krishni Naidu, who will announce the ESCOM Expo top junior winner who wins a 50,000 Rand cash prize. This learner observed that bees were attracted to the popular energy efficient LEDs because of their innate phototactic response. So which LEDs would be safest for bees at night? Through a well-executed scientific investigation, this learner found that the African honeybees were least attracted to red LEDs with a longer wavelength, supporting similar research on incandescent lights. Well done. From South Africa, Gauteng province, Johannesburg Region Parktown Girls High Rebecca Lysigan
Thank you, Ms. Naidu. Up next, let's welcome ESCOM Expo Executive Director, Mr. Pati Chetty, who will announce the ESCOM Expo top senior winner who wins a 75,000 Rand cash prize. This learner impressed judges with his in depth cross disciplinary knowledge of medicine, design processes, software development, and machine learning. Acknowledging the importance of timeless diagnosis of life threatening ailments, the learner improved the accuracy and efficiency of diagnosing various illnesses from the amplified sounds of the lungs. He further included additional sensors to read in a patient's temperature and blood oxygen level to ensure that a healthcare worker has three sets of accurate readings for a patient. Congratulations to the winner. From South Africa, Gauteng Province, Gauteng South Region, Horizon International High School, Session Mohan. A special thank you to all the sponsors the Soil Science Society of South Africa, Red Mast the Nelson Mandela University, the Central University of Technology, the Durban University of Technology, the South African Institute of Electrical Engineers, the South African Institution of Civil Engineering, SciFest Africa, Babcock, University of Pretoria, Witts University, Technology Innovation Agency, Siemens, and ESCOM. And thank you to all our speakers. Mr. Bersam Lesh, Mr. Andre de Reiter, Mr. Jonas Seleti, Minister Makhoba Regina Mhaule, Abigail Bloom, Ikra Faki, Storm Roda, Ms. Sheila Porter, Ms. Sharon Kuma, Mr. Cecil Ramonozzi, Ms. Haggard Yafi Wisal, Ms. Sabine Dalomo, Ms. Elsie Pule, Mr. Kalim Kasim, Ms. Krishni Naidu, and Mr. Patti Chetty. And thank you to the viewers for joining us tonight. We at ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists hope to see you all in person next year. Before we go, more than 50 learners have been selected for interviews to determine a final list of 20 learners who will participate in one of ESCOM Expo's affiliated international science fairs. You may be one of these fortunate learners who will proudly represent South Africa at these prestigious international science fairs in 2022. This announcement will be made at a later stage. For now, all the best and stay safe.